Learning about cars for beginners, part five. What is AFR and why does it matter for your car? Spoiler, it's the secret sauce to making your engine run right. Let's break it down in 90 seconds. Bookmark this and tag somebody that needs to learn about cars. AFR stands for air fuel ratio and it's exactly what it sounds like. The balance of air and fuel your engine needs to run. Think of it like making the perfect cup of coffee. Too much water and it's weak. Too much coffee and it's bitter. Your engine is the same way. It needs the perfect mix to run smoothly. For most cars, the ideal AFR is around 14.7 to one. That's 14.7 parts air and one part fuel. Why? Because that's the magic number for burning fuel efficiently and keeping your engine happy. But here's where it gets interesting. AFR isn't just about keeping your engine running. It's about how you want it to run. If you're tuning a performance car, you might want a richer mix, which means more fuel for extra power. If you're trying to save on gas, you might wanna go for a leaner mix, which means more air for better fuel economy. It's all about finding the right balance for what you need. And trust me, getting it wrong can lead to some serious issues. You ever seen a car backfire or blow black smoke? That's usually because the AFR is way off. Too much fuel or being rich and you'll get black smoke and smell gas. Too much air or running lean and your engine might run hot or even misfire. It's like your engine trying to tell you, hey, I can't breathe right. So keeping your AFR in check is key to keeping your car happy and healthy. So next time somebody talks about AFR, you'll know exactly what they mean. Drop the fire emoji in the comments if you learned something new. And let me know what car topic I should cover next. And hey, if you're into cars and want to learn more about them, hit that follow button. I have a whole series breaking down cars for beginners. Let's make car knowledge easy and fun for everyone.